Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So I have no idea what was happening with my keyboard. I was coming into the game and the keyboard wouldn't work. Mouse is fine, no keyboard. Turns out I have to start the game in big pitch mode or something I don't bloody know. Anyway, we're back. Hello Linda, I've missed you dearly. Scheduled procedures have finished. Um, okay, let's have a look. I tried uninstalling the game. Absolute nightmare. Right, first thing today, we're going to have a look at Linda. Now, it's been a while since I played, so I remember she was giving us a bit of grief, wasn't she, old Linda? We really didn't know what was wrong with her. So all we know is that she's got one hidden symptom, and the only symptom that we do know about is abdominal pain, and that's why we're giving her algesics. Algesics? Why am I making up words? analgesics so we've basically got these things here is that over possible six now um so duodeninitis duodenum i guess can i yeah duodenum see i know things i know some things anyway right so we were meant to find these out if it was that so basically the only other test we can do are things like x-ray chest, x-ray lower limb. So is this, is this microbiology? We just haven't got that yet. Yeah, right. Let's pause the game. Well, we are paused. And I'm going to quickly build... Oh, all of my things have changed, I think. I had to reset my defaults, and I think all this has changed and... it changed the money just looks different we're going to build out the microbiology lab because i think that'll really help linda um let's just copy our little like sample reception oh we don't need to we've actually got that there okay okay right no we don't just do that no ah no right what do we need in the lab so we're going really basic at the start of the game because of money and then as we get further and further along in the game we can actually then just start, you know, start making all these places look a little bit nicer. Um, get more, more objects in most of the rooms. That's a bit, is that a weird layout? That makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Let's do that. And then we are greening it up to there. Spin me right round, green green and then in here we're doing the white spin around a little bit more that should be all done change those windows and we want some green windows but i was really excited to play the game today um i can do this um i just haven't played the game in a while so you know that it kind of quickly unfortunately it's surprising how fast you can forget to do things which is a bit unfortunate but you know um, life's just been a bit cray cray. Right, there we go. So that's our little sample room there. And then we need the bins, fume hoods, that kind of jazz. Okay, let's get some fume hoods um, th on this wall, I think. I'll save a space because obviously when we have a bit more money, we can get two of those. And then we're going to need a couple of lab desks. I'm going to do something like that, I think. I just want to do things a little bit differently. An incubator, microscope, they need like a bit of glassware. Sink will get up there, a bin next to it, and then a another fume hood can go in there maybe. Um, and then we'll do, or actually let's move the microscope to there, delete that one, and then here, are these cheaper? No. We'll just get in a couple of the lab cabinets because they look very labby don't they They look very labby maybe a lab shelf in there so a few more items um but that is completely functional let's just check labs functional lovely right so what we're going to do we're going to get one person in a day one person at night to start off with i think is a plan right so who do we have you're not 
bad night, Sarah, but you're, you have dirty little tootsies, dirty little feet. Um, Elizabeth's really good, actually. So let's get Elizabeth in. And then at night... Um, operating examination devices, yeah, okay. So then I think at night... Oh, yeah, Peter's pretty good, actually. Let's get in Pete. Hello, Pete. There we go. Right, so now Linda, if we just unpause and pause, we should now be able to do microbial sampling for you, Linda. Um, we're going to keep her on our little priority list here. Um, but there we go. So my, the microbial lab, microbiology, is open for business. Um, I'd like to get in some extra little bits out here. Maybe we could go for like some scrubs. Scrubs always look pretty good. Um, and maybe like a nice plant. I don't know if you'd have a plant here. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? First aid kit. We'll get a clock over there. And we'll leave it like that for the moment. Right, like I said, it has been a while since I've played the game. So what we were basically doing last time is I think we were over here doing our emergency department, weren't we? And it's actually flashing at me. So what's wrong with you? You're crying because you haven't got an observation room. Okay, so what's changed? Have I done something weird? Oh, you haven't got any equipment. And then this was going to be... Oh, um, this is how our trauma centre was going to come out to, wasn't it? We have this in the middle, and then we have beds on each side. Yeah, okay. And this is our observation room. So you just need some equipment. The equipment, I'm actually going to spin round... And I'm going to place the equipment down here, I think. And this can be like a little nurse's station um, where you have all of the little bits of equipment. They just need like some stuff like that. Can I get in the corner one of like the little oxygen tanks? And then we can actually come out a little, let's come out a little bit further. A bit like that. I think that'll just give us a little bit more room. And what? walls are we using in here we're using this one in a red and then we can delete that wall going all the way up there and i assume you'd be going across there i'm trying to get a lot better at painting all the walls you know if you've been a follower of the channel for a while you know i haven't been great at it in some of the let's plays that we've done but i'm trying hard i'm trying hard guys okay believe in me Please, please believe in me. Because I don't, so someone has to. Right, and then here, extend that floor. And then we just need to extend the observation room. And I think I am going to make this like a different colour over here. Should we do like a... Like a like a pink Lionel Richie, maybe? Maybe something like that. And then we can just fill this out with bits of equipment. So we need CRP scan, some disinfectant. Can I go there? Oh, nice. But I've got bed sockets and everything. Chart boards always look really cool. Um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put a whiteboard like, in the door. So like you come into the ward and you're like, oh, where's grandma? And you have to like find her bed. Unless she's just, you know, I don't know, gone missing. You never know if grandma's do you? They might just run away in the night. Who knows? Right, and then the only other things we need are audio meters and CRP scans, which is fine. So I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get square tables because they're actually cheaper. Then we can do something like that. CRP scan, audio meter. Right, and then get out lots of more chart boards. I did see actually that there are some more um, mods on the workshop which look quite cool, like some more posters and stuff. So let me know down below if you want me to get some more mods. It provides, you know, more detail, um, really, in place of gameplay. So that's our kind of trauma centre all up and running. That is actually working now. Oh, I've run out of tea. I've run out of tea, guys. You can't have a British man running out of tea. Disgusting. Anyway, so that's all working. So our emergency centre is working. Now, we haven't got any ambulance salts at the moment, um, but we could. So we need to, yeah, so we've got these kind of 
objective now to like save people after collapse so that'll be good 45 patients we actually treated 40 what did we do yesterday can we see that? Oh, I can't remember how you see that. But we've already treated six, and we're going to have 46 patients coming into the hospital. So we should be able to treat 45 patients, I hope. And then the classic next insurance objective is the open um, specialised departments. Why can I not scroll? Oh, okay, there you go. Which we're going to be doing a lot of. Um, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of specialised departments because this is our mega hospital so that's working great over here we've got the radiology department working great pharmacy awesome um doctor's offices are we getting quite a lot of people having to wait so we've got five people waiting i guess that's saying we've got a spare room up here let's get someone in i think i think that'll be good william hall you're pretty good actually you've got a good diagnosis um, you're a hard worker, you've got resistance. I think you're in, Will. Come on, Billy. Billy the kid is in. Um, and that should free up, um, you know, some of these uh, waiting areas. That should just provide a little bit more capacity. We might actually need more. We'll keep an eye on that. But I'm actually really happy with this hospital. I think it's actually got quite a nice layout. And then over here, we were starting to build out... This is general surgery, isn't it? Um... Have we got enough capacity over here? Yeah, I think we're good. There's a couple of people waiting, but that's good. Um, so it was just the hospitalisation for general surgery, which we were going to start building up here. I think we... Did we start like thinking about where the elevators were going to go? I believe that's what we were doing, wasn't it? Oh, where's Linda? Linda, where are you? Where art thou? Oh, you're having a biopsy done at the moment. Okay. So hopefully that should tell us a little bit more about that little cheeky hidden symptom of Linda's, which would be really good. So I think um, the next thing really is just to build out our general surgery hospitalisation. Now, that is when money starts to just disappear. It is incredible how fast money can disappear when you start building out hospitalisation. So what that means is we're going to take this steady. So let's take it steady. Uh, we're going to need an elevator, please. I'd love to see stairs in the game. I think that'd be really cool to see stairs. Do I want that out here? I think so. Did I already place this? I feel like I've already placed the elevator, but you know, I don't really know. If I have, then we can just do it again. Because all the saved games have gotten a little bit muddled up with me trying to fix um, the issues. Is that the fin? Yeah, that's the fin blue line in there. Do that. Awesome, so we have an elevator. No, Linda, no. If you just waited a little bit more, I could have put you into a regular hospitalisation. If there are tests running, the patient will return the next day. Okay, that's fine, because we've actually got tests running. So Linda is going to come back tomorrow. Um, we'll put her in hospitalisation tomorrow. She'll be happy. Has that? No, we're okay at the moment. Right. So let's get this ready for Linda, just for our little pal Linda. Right, so for general surgery, we need all of these bits on the right. Um, and then it would be good staff room, toilets, cleaning closet. If we could fit it in up here, I think that would be good. Um, right, so the things that always need expanding are the wards. They just always need expanding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully design this in a way where we can really easily expand regular ward our, and our high dependency unit. I think that's the plan. And then we just need a little bit of room for like an operating room, lounge, sonography, cardiography. The lounge could actually go downstairs. This could be our lounge actually. I think that could work quite well. Um, what wall have we got in here? We've just got the standard have the wall please just a standard one um, I think this will work quite well because the lounge you know it's just where our visitors come in to visit their patients <coughs> excuse me right so let's delete our little barriers I actually really likes that well it looked quite cool okay a nice little wood floor there's gonna be a nice little lounge nothing too crazy because you know we've got to think about our budgets 
we're going to get maybe can we get two along that wall we can and then like a sofa and then over here just like a vending machine maybe in there and a couple little cabinets maybe just with like some fruit juice get out a little plant maybe where can the plant live there and then a clock just so you know when you have to leave um, and then we'll get out some posters so like there's info liver heart maybe just like that that's a very very simple lounge but I like it okay so up here so what I was thinking is if we have high dependency on this wall here now how big is a bed unit I'm not gonna be able to see it from there really am I so let's do our classic thing of building out a bed unit now these are very expensive beds aren't they so do I need to build foundations oh where well, our money's gonna go goodbye money it was nice having you right hospital bed and then we're gonna leave a little bit of room because we're gonna need a life monitor um, what one's the cheapest? They're the cheapest. Um, I need a wall, yeah. I mean, a wall would be quite helpful actually, wouldn't it? Right, life monitor, bed sockets, which are cheaper, doesn't matter. So we'll go for the new fancy ones. Then we're going to go for a bedside cabinet, 49 49, so it doesn't matter. And then they need a defibrillator, which will have one for the ward in general. We won't have separate ones per unit because that will get very very expensive right so then that comes out there like so how does that look do you need to come out one more maybe so you could do that then maybe with like a glass wall in between hmm i think i actually prefer if i delete that i think i prefer coming out there with a glass panel oh, I, sh I wish these things would line up they're not going to line up are they right so then if we done that then had the glass door then had glass wall and maybe then something like that it will just delete this wall I think that will work. I know it's a bit cramped, um, but we just need as much capacity as we can get, really. So I think they'll just have to deal with that. We'll just get that ball there for the moment. Right. That is quite small, though, isn't it? Maybe if we come out one more, then we get rid of that. That I'm actually not going to put any windows in. Um, and we'll get like a chair. Where do I find chairs? In here, isn't it? Um, in here? Oh, I'm so out of practice, guys. Corridor. Go in there. No, no. Ah, ah. Go in there. Right. And we can get like a chair. Um, coffee table. Plant? No, you wouldn't have plants in um, this kind of room, would you? We could do a bin. I mean, it's a bit sad just having a bin in your room, isn't it? But I think that works a bit better. Okay, so then for the meanwhile, I think we'll get like two of those because they are going to be expensive. So that goes like that. So then those that are going to go down there, we're going to have um, a corridor of two. Perfect. Right, that's our high dependency unit. So what else do we need for this room to work? We need defibrillators, that's fine. Do that. Little oxygen tank for decoration. Let's get some tiles here. We're going to get the blue corridor. A bit like that. Okay, so then my thinking was to have specific doctors and nurses in the high dependency unit. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna have to get a drink, guys. My voice is going. 
Okay, I'm back and don't sound like a 50 year old chain smoker. Right, so my thinking was to have this in here be like a separate doctor's office and nurse's station to look on these high dependency units. If I can stop hiccuping, oh my god. Right, so is that a good idea? Or what we could do, if I delete that wall there, is we could have a nurse's station and doctor's office. I keep calling it doctor's office, I do mean encore room. So if we have the encore room going out by five, if we do that four by five, we do the nurse's station four by five, and then this wall is opaque because we don't want people being able to look in on the high dependency patients. And then here we have a wall then with like lots of tall glass so they can look through check on patients make sure no one's dying because you know in a hospital it's best if you don't die really isn't it and then you can enter by restricted access there i think that's a cool little plan um yeah i think i like that maybe so those are the expensive desks, these are the cheap desks, and we're going to go one there, so make sure there's always someone there, um, and then we can just expand lists as needs be. So some chairs, some PCs, one gets a paper holder, one gets a printer, we can get like a little card file, um, what else can we get in here, just to make it a little bit nice, like a bookcase. And maybe sort of drop off your scrubs, notice board for the weekly, the weekly knees up in the local pub clock. I think that'll be good. And then the nurses station just needs a few more bits. So we can just like copy, copy that and that can go there. Get rid of the wall. And then we can get like a couple of like single desks maybe like square tables so we can get in a couple of people there because we're going to need a few more nurses compared to doctors a couple of stools a couple of pcs um stretchers can go out in the corridor but also we need some equipment cabinets okay so we can get those if we get the shorter ones then they can live there the mill tray we're going to need um, and this can expand over time you know this hasn't got to stay like it is and again we're just going to get a couple of bits like posters chartboard will be cool chartboard can go there above the um, laundry bin and I think this is going to be wood our corridor in here is going to be the classic hospital tile floor and then actually in the rooms we'll go for like a blue linoleum Lionel Richie and then we want windows windows with blinds maybe what way round you go that way round then don't you a bit like that at the end of the corridor we can have some windows like that okay I like that so that's our high dependency unit um, all done and actually down here the bottom of the corridor here we could actually have some stretchers we could get a stretcher there and a wheelchair in there maybe that'd be cool right so that's high dependency unit done our money it's not it's not actually too bad it's not actually too bad and then in here, I was thinking of a toilet because we're always going to need a toilet for staff and patients. So let's get in a white door. How many could I actually fit in here? It's going to be quite a big toilet just like that, isn't it? I will go around and do the um, wallpaper in in a sec. And that's going to be a restroom. And then we're going to get in. Oh yeah, that is quite large. 
I don't think we can do much about that really. Um, toilet. We'll get a sink up here. Bin. Hand dryer. And maybe a plant in front of the window. And then again, maybe a clock. Okay, right. You're going to have this wallpaper jobby. Like so. Some nice tiles for the bathroom. You're that, I think. Are you that? Yeah, I think we'll do that. And that. And that. And then in the corridor here, we're going to carry on with the tiles. Because. Because I said so, really. Right. That's like the little corridor -y bit. Cool. Awesome. Right, let's get a decal for the toilet. Um, let's get that out for there so everyone knows that's the toilet. High dependency unit. Is that one, I believe? And that one's going to go there. Right, okay, so that's that one done. Now, the regular ward. Now, the regular ward. Um, could go like here and actually this could go out this way so that goes like an L could be a plan or we could extend out over here and it could go behind there that's also an idea well this would be quite nice for like an operating theatre um, and maybe this just comes out like a mezzanine so this comes out and then like a little garden beneath that could be quite nice couldn't it so if we come out here, um, and then this could be... Well, actually, we haven't got to do that, though, have we? We technically haven't got to do that yet, because that's going to be for our operating theatre, which we don't need a current elite. So if we just come out here, because I just really hate this floor, it makes me very angry. Very, very angry. Right. And then we do need cardiography and sonography, but those could potentially go in... Um, radiography, couldn't they? Not accessible for patients. Oh yeah, I've kind of cocked that up a little bit, haven't I? Wait, have I? Can I not go through that little bit there? Am I actually going to have to do something like that? That's a bit upsetting, isn't it? Oh well, it works. And a regular ward maybe yeah starting here and then coming out and that just comes out further this way when we want to expand is that a thing now, i'd like to have two beds on each side really so if we're going to go in here as regular ward this is going to have to be done as a mezzanine at least because that is going to frustrate me otherwise Right, so we'd have a hospital bed, uh, like that. We're going to have a chair there, bed sockets, and then defibrillator in the room as a whole, not as each, in each block. And then we'll come out, let's go for that wallpaper, like that I think. And then in that corner could we get in like a glass coffee table so those would then keep coming out like that and then there's loads of room to also have on the other side um, but we could actually go for the privacy screens so those could go on the wall like so Um, just to have a bit of privacy, maybe. Um, this one actually needs to go more there. Right, so let's go and tidy this up. So that's going to be the entrance to the ward. We're going to get a nice double door with windows in there. Um, our wallpaper for this room is this one, I believe. So let's kit that out. Bit like that. 
this wall here um, will s not be there. Um, this is a bit weird actually, this bit, isn't it? That's going to come out there. And that's going to go all the way down there. And then this is going to be like a little mezzanine bit. Um, let's do the floor. And then let's carry on with the wallpaper in here. Is that everything? No. Do all of this. Uh, where is this wall? There? No. Absolutely not. Now I'm there. Lovely. And then we'll do the more tiles in there. And then this needs to be bricked up. Cool. And then that's going to be more corridor from there. Awesome. And then we'll think about windows. So we're going to get in windows there so that's in between the bed and the table okay lovely right and then do we need any more bits in here just the defibrillator we put that there can we get like a little equipment um equipment cabinet tool in there regular ward that's going to come out it can come out the whole way actually for the moment right so that's that's pretty good actually we've actually kind of got that in quite a tight space so the only room we actually need now for this to function is our diagnostic unit um, i think it'd be quite nice to get a staff room back here with the operating theater so what we could do is if we're going to be expanding out this way with the regular walls we can expand out this way with the diagnostic units as well um, that's corridor can you be one please just to satisfy me thank you right so here corridor wall corridor wall this is a diagnostic unit let's get a door with a window or oh, we need to do our decals regular ward is uh, that one so that one there this one's diagnostic unit that one no rotate please thank you very much right so in here we're going to get an exam table and this is what takes up most of the space ah camera ah so can we get that in there you need a dialysis machine which are very very expensive um, you need all these bits so i test can go can i put that there let's put it there medical light goes above the bed a mobile equipment cabinet can go in there with a lab sink in the corner a bin with some hand sanitizer and stuff above it there mobile workstation go in there and then we need an audiometer and a CRP scan so can I get that going like that hmm okay this is where it gets tricky so I technically don't need the hand sanitizer I think you don't need the bin can I move the bin can the bin go and live down there and then can I get another square table there? Would that work? Boom! Lovely. Chartboard can go there. Um, okay, that's a very compact room, but it's going to work. It's going to work for us, guys. Right, let's get out some tiles there, some blue line all there. How does that look? Oh, yeah, I like that. Right, wallpaper in here. We're going to go for this one. I've just chosen one at random. Right, and that's our diagnostic room sorted. We're going to get our window of blinds there. Hopefully no one gets their private parts out. Right, and then that's a very, very compact general surgery. But we can expand out. I'm actually like pointing at the screen, but obviously you can't see. So regular ward can expand this way. High dependency ward can expand this way. Operating theatre is going to go behind here with a staff room. 
that's the plan guys that's the plan right do we need to get a few bits just for the corridor here like a couple of chairs just in case anyone's like waiting to go in there let's get a couple of stretchers make sure there's like water water vending machine it's a bit more compact i know um, people wanted the hospital to be a bit more compact so it's a bit more realistic because you know, hospitals are quite you know tight on space move some tall windows in there um, and then yep you can have a window there okay i'm happy with that actually what i might do is move that stretcher to there and maybe just have this out over here a bit like that yeah okay that looks a lot better right so we just need a few members of staff not too many actually so what do we need so yeah this always used to annoy me is you actually need enough to have surgeons so we need one surgeon one anesthesiologist right so if we have a look here so we've got any surgeons here robert's pretty good so's christopher actually but you do have an uh, extra type of diagnosis let's get in robert so we need three doctors so we are going to need an extra desk actually in here we need an anesthesiologist and i don't want to reveal hidden perks i think i'm going to have to on this one who's the cheapest nancy but you are comforting and you're a hard worker um, in the night we just need one doctor in the night so let's go for maybe someone that's got diagnosis skills you're an early bird so you're very good so if we get an extra desk here we could actually just hire you um, we could just delete the cabinet can just go or actually let's just delete that we're going to get out a square table if I can find it. Um, let's go in here. Square table in like the bluey colour. You are going to have to be on a stool, I'm afraid. But you'll get used to it. I'm actually going to get a laptop. Just something that looks a bit different. It's a bit more expensive, but you know, hey ho. Right, and then Jennifer's pretty good. So then that satisfies doctors for the day. We just need a doctor for the night shift. For the night shift, I'm gonna have to get in perks again. You're good. You're actually the cheapest as well, Jane. Let's get in Jane. And then nurses. We're gonna need two surgery nurses in the day, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, let's go Rachel, and we're gonna go for Patricia. And then we need one more nurse. So we're, let's get a nurse that's like really skilled, like a clinical nurse specialist. We're going to hedge our bets with Frank. I mean, he's the most expensive, but he's also very good. So we don't want you doing patient transfers, Frank, basically. Um, who's the cheapest here? Rachel. So Rachel, you're just going to be focusing on patient transfers. And then we just need one nurse. Oh, do I need you to be able to do that, do I? Yeah. And then we need one nurse for the night. Again, ideally someone... P looks pretty good. We don't know what his hidden perk is, but he works good at night. We've opened up um, our specialised hospitalisation, which is fantastic. Um, that increases our clinic patients per day um, by another 15. So that's really good. That's objective complete. Fantastic. And when Linda comes back, hopefully tomorrow, it means that we'll be able to actually hospitalise her, which will be really, really good. Awesome. Right, I'm going to have a quick little sip of my drink and then we'll see if any of these guys actually need to be hospitalised. Ah, that's better. It's surprising how like, dry your mouth can get if you're always talking. Right, um, we've got Richard here. Let's put him on some more tests to find out what's wrong with Richard. Thomas Lewis is very irritable. It's okay. It's okay, Thomas. Don't become frustrated. Um, we're just going to do some very basic tests on you, but we have no idea what it could be. Temperature, um, evaluation, okay, we can do that. Differential diagnosis, sure. Um, Dana over here, again, just need some very simple 
bits and bobs to be done. Right, who's coming in now? We might even know a doctor's office here, actually. Right, Dana. So she's having a physical exam. She's having from weight loss, abdominal pain. Okay, let's do abdominal palpitations then. Have a little examination. See what's wrong with you, Dana. Okay, so we're still not sure. Low comfort, that's high. What can we do here? That's medium. Maybe differential. Will that just sort it out? Um, yeah, it's actually getting quite busy here, isn't it? Who have we got in here? Frank. Hello, Frank. Compiler back there. It can't be that, so it must be compiler back there. So you. No, still with your um, examinations, though, because it might be that you need something else to be treated. Dana is still not sure. Let's give her some of these bits in the meanwhile. Michael here could be any of those. Might have to be differential diagnosis for you, Michael, I'm afraid. You only retract infection. You just need antibiotics. We'll give you the other bits as well. Hopefully you'll pay us for it. Um, and then Thomas is the guy. Yeah, I think we are going to love the doctor's office, aren't we? It's getting quite busy here. So if we were to expand one, two, three, four, five, six by eight here, you're going to come down like that. Then this comes out. We have our corridor wallpaper. That wall goes away. That window goes away. And then we could copy two of these rooms and they could go in oh god damn it we need one extra space i'm actually going to do that cause it, it just makes sense doesn't it because then that can come down there like that that gets gone that gets gone that gets gone these things in the lounge move to there. Um, you just need to be expanded like that. And then I should be able to copy these two rooms. They are quite large, they're the prefab rooms, aren't they? Um, to there. That was a little bit of money. And then. Um, I have to do that. That we'll have, to, we'll have to get rid of the stripes here, which isn't too much of an issue. Um, and we might just need a few more benches and chairs just going up here, just so everyone has a place to sit down. What am I using? Like the blue metal benches? Those, I think, isn't it? So let's just get out a couple there. We'll get our plant in the middle. Oh. We well, won't get our plant in the middle, we'll get a plant there. Um, so we've got a little bit of space here. A little bit of room. Are we using we are using the screens? So I will get an info TV down here. And then at the moment I'm just gonna get one more doctor for the moment. Ideally someone with advanced diagnosis. Um, you're good. You've you've extra talent, but you're always depressed. Um, you're not bad actually Linda let's get in Linda so that's one more person one more doctor sorry that can kind of help us get through the backlog of patients oh my god I don't know what I'm doing here can you tell right so that should help yes okay that should help a little bit just get through this backlog. Who's this? Oh, this is Irritable Thomas, is it? So just having a look at him. Do we know anything more about Dana? No. I think he's going to have to do all of the tests, really. Um, she might need to be hospitalised. Just make sure she doesn't leave, because that would be sad. Still don't know what's wrong with Michael. We're going to try differential diagnosis, it looks like. Are we, are we doing that? Yeah, that's been done now. So we've decided it is 
interstitial cystitis. Um, so he should be all good in the hood. Lovely. How are we going on over here? Is this yeah, no one waiting. Just to make sure we've got no one like waiting around really. Um, where's radiology? Radiology! That one. Um, that looks all good. No one waiting. We've got two beds over here actually. Like already filled. So we might need to copy that. Um, can I not just add one, two, three, four, five? So that's five. Copy that over like so. We need our lovely brick wall around the outside like that. Get rid of that wall in there. And then that's all good, I believe. Um, just need to extend out the room, observation room. I'll be interested to see if they get filled up really quickly actually. So we have a little bit more space for observation. Yeah, I think this is working pretty well. If we've got up here, we've got someone in the diagnostic unit, that's cool. Yeah, so we're fine for capacity here. How are we doing for labs? So we've got many samples in the pipeline. One in the pipeline, two, one. So we're doing okay. Let's get one more person in the day um, in our microbiology lab. Let's go for you, Carol. Should help process some of those samples. That'd be really good. Okay, I think that's really good. I think we made quite a lot of progress there today. And then I don't know what we were gonna do out over here absolutely not a clue um, it looks a bit looks a bit messy at the moment but as soon as we start building up more and more departments um, we're just gonna be cracking on really so our goal for today was to treat 45 patients wasn't it I think we'll be able to do that I don't think that'll be too much of an issue where are you going are you going up to the labs or something maybe don't really know everything looks good we're getting through the patients quickly What's you? What's you in for, Jennifer? Um, let's just get the lab test underway. Barbara's got golfer's elbow. You just need the ice wrap, and you'll be all done. Michael here's got hash and mo. Why are we doing that then? So it could also be Graves' disease. It's actually more probable to be Graves' disease. So let's take that off and then let's just do those because I don't know if it is Hashimoto's you should actually be in general surgery so you go to general surgery they should be able to help you a little bit more over there my good sir pharmacy is good um, yeah Let's have a look at Michael a minute. I know this episode's now pretty long, but I'm sure you guys won't mind. I hope you enjoy the longer episodes. I just want to see, can you just go and see a doctor now? Elizabeth should be able to sort you out. Have a look at him, Elizabeth. What's wrong with him? It's actually Graves' disease. There we go. Okay. Right, guys, I'm going to leave this here for today. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry it's been a while. Weird computer issues there. I don't know what was going on. Um, City Skylines will be back shortly as well. If you're following that series, just waiting for the mods to be updated with the release of the Airports DLC. Okay, guys, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you very shortly in the next episode. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.